I am going to try to keep this from just being me complaining for however long it ends up being. Um, but to be clear, I really don't like Sniper. Um, I don't think Sniper is broken or overpowered or anything like that. Um, but I think that as a class in the game, aside from just competitive, it's very uh, poorly designed. <laughs> and like with other interactions with other classes, pretty much without fail, um, there is a, a plethora of counterplay such that you can be so much better than another player that um, you just win fights with them. Against a sniper though, like the counterplay is kind of just to not engage. And if they're far enough away, you can't really effectively touch them. So it's just um, kind of unfun in that regard. But in a competitive setting, I just think the counterplay is very boring. I think that uh, Sniper slows the game down and just makes the game less fun when he's around. Uh, and for that reason, I'm just not a fan. Um, but Sniper is a class that people use and a quite common one. Uh, probably the most common off class. Uh, outside of like Engineer, I guess. Uh, very common off class. And it's important to know how to counterplay him. So. That's what I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to talk about um, all the different ways that you can counter a sniper uh, in different game states. And yeah, basically uh, just how to make it as l or how to make it as less, not le least effective a class as possible. So for starters, uh, why don't I quick kind of reiterate some of the stuff that I mentioned in my off-classing video about what a sniper does. Um, so for starters, a sniper is a class that threatens a one-hit kill, and you most commonly see sniper in last stalemates or disad. Um, although you do see sniper in like second stalemates on occasion. Basically, the attacking team, the team with control of mid, will try to break a hold with a sniper. So, um, that can take different forms. So on last, you see sniper on both teams, actually, on occasion. So the attacking team will be peeking a sniper into last with the goal, of course, to get a shot on the medic, get that drop, and have add. But it doesn't usually work out that cleanly, and oftentimes the sniper either can't get a clean shot on the medic or well yeah basically that just can't get a clean shot on the medic in which case you have a couple of options for starters you can get a pick on one of the people preventing your sniper from getting a shot on the medic so have you know your sniper kill a soldier instead watching the doorway and then peek deeper basically like go one person by one person like more and more picks until you get a shot on the med or use the fact that Pretty much every anti-sniper hold is much more aggressive positioning from the other medic. And use that to your advantage by sacking a soldier um, more effectively because they're going to be holding closer and your soldier doesn't have to bomb as far. And it should hopefully be a more successful sack. So into last, those are kind of the, the main avenues to work your sniper and make it effective. Now, sniper works defensively because... It's really tough to peek into last and pressure into last, and it's especially difficult. Oh, a sniper killer medic. I did look through my logs a little bit to see, uh, try and find some type of game where there was a fair amount of sniper being played, and no surprise, it's on process. Uh, anyway, so defensively, sniper is very powerful uh, because peeking doors and pushing doors is oftentimes difficult and against a class that can just play so far away that you can't touch them uh, and can one-shot you as well is even more difficult so sniper is an extremely useful defensive asset to have on a team on last probably even more helpful than as an offensive class it's much harder to get your sniper a peek into a doorway as it is to just have your sniper somewhere by your spawn or wherever just on a crazy sight line where they can't be touched uh, locking down a door so that it can't be peeked. Uh, so yeah. Now as far as 
A stalemate on second goes. It's basically the same principles as pushing into last or peeking into last. The only difference being that you don't see the defensive sniper so often. Just because you're further away from the spawn. So you can't really switch off at a moment's notice. Which can be a big deal because if things start going poorly for your team, the sniper could be a liability for reasons I'll talk about when I talk about countering it. But yeah, and then the other thing I mentioned was disad. Disad is... The disad sniper is really, really potent because pretty much every point you could play a disad sniper, um, it's very hard to root that player out. And sometimes on some points, and most points on process actually, um, you're kind of forced to use because it's way too difficult to get a player on them um and yeah you, you can't of course dry push against the sniper and just hope he misses the shot on top of that sometimes that sniper will be in the forward spawn so a big deal with countering sniper is identifying if a sniper in the forwards could exist whenever you're for example pushing out of last whether you deny player uh, forward spawns or don't is the difference between whether they could have a sniper in forwards or could not. Uh, so yeah, those are the, the main situations in which you see sniper. Now let's start talking about how to counter them. And the counterplay to a sniper is basically just trust your soldiers, or at least it's it falls on your soldiers for the most part. Sniper is an easy class to kill when you actually get in on him. But getting in on him is quite difficult. Uh, so it's a very difficult class to root out for pretty much everyone else besides soldiers. Now, the sniper can always just hit the shot on the soldier bombing and then you can't do anything. And that kind of sucks, but that's just how it is. Um, yeah, a lot of the counterplay comes down to soldier aggression and coordinated soldiers so with that in mind when it comes to last defensively i guess the most common example the other team is running a sniper into your last it really is just a matter of playing the spam correctly and that sniper shouldn't be able to get a good peek if you're good about playing the spam on the doors if you are proactive about spotting him then everyone knows where the sniper could be coming from. Everyone knows how long it's going to take for the sniper to rotate doors, so they know like how long they have until another door could be a danger. And a lot of the time, if a sniper tries to take an aggressive peek into that, they're just going to get too rocketed by a soldier or spammed out by a demo and caught. So as long as you are good about rotating your spam on last and good about playing that spam on last, that sniper should not get anything even if they kill a soldier it of course puts a, a, a much bigger strain on the uh on the hold and the defense it's still manageable so as far as playing last goes yeah it's it's really all about uh just playing the spam and playing to deny them a peek of course there are many like anti-sniper specific holds uh, one that comes to mind is Sunshine. Teams will move their gun in front of the point, move their heels in front of the point, play their demo on the floor, ready to rotate to either door just to spam everything out. A lot of other holds are kind of just anti-sniper is, is like built into them. So I'm thinking Metalworks. People kind of just do the anti-sniper hold by default a lot of the time. Same with Process. They play their heels pretty far forward uh, most of the time on the Process hold. So yeah, sometimes anti-sniper is built into the hold. Sometimes you would transition into it when they spawn the sniper. But in every case, it is just about playing those doors really hard so the sniper can't get a peek. As far as countering sniper into last goes, they have the defensive sniper. Um, yeah, the options are extremely limited there. It's not really worth like sacking a guy onto them or something um so you kind of just have to deal with it you kind of just have to be sacking knowing that the guy could just hit a shot or something and um the pressure is not going to be very good of course because you don't really want to be giving them that peak uh or rather 
they're not peeking, you're peeking them, but you don't really want to be giving them that damage a lot of the time. If they, of course, get too aggressive, then you can kill them, because snipers are frail, but, uh, yeah. If they're sniping defensively on last, you're kind of out of luck. Sometimes you just don't get to pressure that door. You can, I suppose, counter snipe. Um, I'm not a big fan. I'm, I don't know. I, I feel like it, it could be okay if you're planning to snipe into their last. Um, that That is a viable way to kill the other team sniper. But that being said, I, I wouldn't be going out of your way to try to focus your sacking efforts on killing their sniper first with your own sniper and then going from there. So you can see they have the uh, defensive sniper here and our soldier bombs and we get to get through. Look at that. So yeah, um, that's it for sniper on last, kind of how to deal with it. Now, sniper in transitions is a huge pain to deal with. So if it's a sniper in the forwards, it's not usually as bad because your soldiers know where they want to be bombing and they can be you know bombing to to spot the forwards and be able to hold it of course if the sniper's there then you know, want your soldier pressuring that so actively pressuring it so that uh, they can't get that peak and uh sniper medic it is possible for the sniper to just not be peaking and then pick their time to peak and you would never have any information that they're ever there until they peek and take their shot. And that can just drop your medic if they get the timing right. Again, <laughs> you can see maybe why I don't like this class so much. But, uh, yeah, you, you just have to, you know, play as if they could be in there and be ready for that and careful of that. Um, in the case that uh, you don't deny forward spawns. Now, Sniper's not always in the forwards in transitions on Disad. Sometimes Sniper's playing some other position, and whether you... How you want to play it is really up to what type of position it is, and your, I guess, risk tolerance, I'll say. So, there are some positions. One that comes to mind would be on process actually into mid if the sniper is on mid just watching the entire like long sight line all the way through your choke you basically have no options for for getting a soldier on that guy it's going to be extremely difficult because your soldier can't bomb through choke otherwise they just get body shot soldier can't come through it because that sniper is also watching it from that angle uh, your soldier can't really get through sewer either. It's just all the doors are so far away, giving the sniper himself so much time to be able to shoot your guy. Um, while also, you know, there's an entire other team around that sniper. So it's just so unlikely you're going to be able to reliably pressure that guy. You're basically forced to just pop through. And there are other spots that are like that. Um... You can make the case that if there's a sniper bats on process, you might want to just pop through, but uh, that's much more reliable to get a soldier on them. But yeah, a lot of the time, you if you are trying to push a point and the sniper is just watching everything, then a lot of the time, at least my team would like to just pop through and play the flip-flop. And yeah, so there are positives to that. Namely... If that sniper is playing too forward and you take the fast aggressive uber, a lot of the time that sniper will be a pick and just automatically make that uber better by virtue of catching him. Once you actually get on the sniper, it's very easy to kill him. So it's just a matter of, uh, of actually getting on them with the uber. Uh, of course, they can play positionings where that might not always happen, but uh, I mean, whatever. A flip-flop is a flip-flop. It sucks that they just got to pick the class that forced you to pop, and then you don't get to dry the point, but that's just how the metagame is with Sniper. Now, yeah, that's Sniper disad when you're trying to push. It's really either get a soldier on them if you can, and with that pressure, then you push. Now, of course, that'd be the pocket soldier who'd be making all the space and, and such. Or you can just pop through, play the flip-flop, try and catch the sniper, and 
go from there. Now, one thing I should mention as well regarding the stalemate sniper is that sometimes on last, not very often on last, but especially on two, teams will often play for an exchange. And there's a couple reasons for that. So for starters, um, I have an entire video about exchanges. Um, if you're interested in kind of the metagame there and how, you know, exchanges work and what you're looking for in an exchange, what makes them good, what makes them bad. Because having a sniper in an exchange is just a huge problem for the, the team that's trying to push getting exchanged into. Because... That sniper isn't doing anything, of course. They're just there, forcing flashes. And the more f you flash players, the shorter your uber is. So a lot of the time, if you take an exchange... So a classic example here is teams will often take the exchange into sewer on process second. Because process second is maybe the most common point you'll see teams pressure with a sniper. Oh, we see a little sniper hiding in the forward spawn here. Curious if... So it's looking like my sniper is playing to peek the shutter late as, they've, as they're crossing in rather than just be holding it open and trying to kill either the first thing through or, the, or something. Gets cleared by, I presume, a soldier. Took some damage and backspawned. Gets dealt with. So what was I saying? I was talking about... Exchanges, yeah. So the sewer pressure. It, sewer is like one of the most common doors to be pressuring a sniper into this point. And if uh, an entire team is in sewer with their sniper and you take an exchange into them, they're going to be forcing a lot of flashes and they might fail to flash a player here and there. And you might be able to get a kill or something. Um, and that's very beneficial for you because if you get a kill with Ubers out of the way as well, then you might just be able to dry a point. Because one of the main things preventing you from just dry pushing a point with a single pick is the other team having Uber and being able to exchange in the doorway and stall you. But if that's no longer a concern, then yeah, you might be able to just take some space. Also, Sniper is oftentimes, counterintuitively, a liability in transitions. Because I know I talked about how like in a transition disad fight, a Sniper will oftentimes just be... Just their presence alone often forces you to pop through. But in other types of transitions, so if the sniper is not already set up very passively, then it's very difficult for them to back up in time. And a fast team pushing through, so let's say, um, you know, a team is playing a sniper into process second and their flank gets shoved or their flank dies, they lose two. Suddenly, this team is now extremely easy to push into because they have a sniper, which can't really do much from where they're positioned because they were positioned very forward in sewer. They're not going to be able to go back up all the way to a broken sight line in time. So if you're fast about things, of course you have to be worried about them exchanging because they're going to be wanting to exchange. But a lot of the time, you will be able to... Oh, another thing as well, based on what I just saw, is on last... You, you should just be off-class checking on last, but if a scout just single sacks, it's usually massive alarm bells that they're just sacking to get on sniper, but continuing. Um, oh, I'm going to pause. What was I talking about that I'm continuing? I was talking about... Yeah, in transitions. That sniper is going to be a liability. If the game is like moving pretty quickly and points are changing hands back and forth quickly and a team has to leave very quickly otherwise they'd be caught such as like losing a couple players when they don't expect to and they're stuck on the sniper if you make that very fast then yeah that guy should be a pick a lot of the time and again most of this comes down to soldiers getting on him but uh i suppose any class can kill a sniper um, anything else I can think of regarding countering Sniper? Yeah, again, if you're an important class, like a demo or a medic, you really just want to be avoiding the peak. As a demo, you, of course, have to be spamming the doors. 
Uh, and you're going to be rotating to the door that the demo, or that, excuse me, the sniper is at a lot of the time to help spam him out. Um, carpets are really nice. Snipers oftentimes just walk over your carpets because they are scoped in and tunnel visioned, and you can just kill them instantly. But, yeah. What else, what else concerning the sniper class? Yeah, as far as your own off classes on last to deal with the sniper, you can be counter, counter sniping on last. I don't like the idea of having a guy spawn sniper with intention of taking the, the SVS fight and winning. I more so prefer if your guy is on last on sniper, it's with the intention of playing sniper and having just the broken defensive power of a sniper without necessarily looking to take a 1v1 because he can just lose and it feels kind of coin flippy and it's not the end of the world to be down a scout on last because it would be a scout off classing it's not really the end of the world like you can still play the spam the same but uh still it, it's a it, not a fight you want to be losing it also just gives them more pressure and and space and things with to with which to pressure into your last uh, excuse me, Pyro can be useful actually as a deterrent. Not really a counter, because it's, it's not actually unheard of for snipers to run Darwin's Danger Shield in sixes. And it's actually quite common for them to be running Cozy Camper, both of which have some possibility of you know not caring about Afterburn um, interrupting their aim. But it's a consideration... Oh, I just got body shot. That's also a, an example of how information is a big deal. Because that sniper could have gotten a kill. We didn't expect this sniper to be here. And me being able to communicate to my team that there's a sniper is quite important for you know how my medic would be positioned so as not to be dying to that. And also for my soldiers to be able to maybe play a certain health uh, or play a certain positioning in order to be able to deny that. Of course, this case is a little different because it's disad and we're expecting to leave. But uh, yeah. Now, one thing I will say is that uh, a lot of the time, and as you can see here, a lot of the time uh, Sniper is considered a weak class into last. Uh, I kind of disagree i think on some last points sniper can be really really annoying to deal with because they just get to sit in the doorway and rattle off shots and usually the soldiers on the defending team are preoccupied with stopping the point and it makes what oh, we can see oh never mind sniper did not die here um usually soldiers on last are preoccupied with stopping the cap and it's harder for them to get on the sniper in the doorway uh, but it's a big problem, and yeah, the way to deal with that problem is a soldier getting on them, as it is usually. So, yeah, I think that's probably all I can think of concerning the sniper class and how to counter it. Why did I not debt that travel? What am I doing? Whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. Very annoying class to deal with. Uh, the counterplay is literally just you don't counterplay you just have your soldiers do it instead because that's just kind of the way the class was designed uh, very poorly so anyway hopefully that was uh, useful hopefully sniper is made completely irrelevant with uh, everyone learning how to beat it consistently I doubt that's the case because they can literally every single time just hit their shot to uh, bail themselves out but we can all dream can't we anyway Hope you guys enjoyed and see you later.